the head rush pedal board comes with a lot of presets right inside of it. The way that I get to that is up on the top left here. I'm going to tap and I get all my different set lists. So let's go and take a look at some of the heavy tones. So I'll tap there and now, whoa, it's dialed up. Switch that patch. And we'll switch another patch. There's lots of cool stuff in there. It's great if I just like start playing right away. But if I want to design my own, I'm going to do that up in the top right here. And I'm going to say new rig. So now I get a totally empty slate to work with. The first thing I want to do is I want to open up an amp. And when I open an amp, the cab is going to come along with it. So I'm going to pick a little bit further down the chain right here. And I'm going to say amp. Now, I have the new Headrush 1.1.1, which was just released like a couple of days ago. So there's a bunch of new amps inside of it. One that I really dig is this Princeton Tweed. So there we go. So I'm going to dial up that tone to my liking. So I'm going to hold down the amp button for a second. And I'll see the different options available. So let's go tone. And I'm just going to work that with my expression. And now I'm going to take a look at the cab right here. So I'm going to hold that down for a moment. And I'll work the tone here, too. So there's my amp gain. I can also go as far as changing the microphone on it as well. So I'm going to double tap here. And right now I have a Dyn 7. So let's go. I really like how the 414 sounds on that Princeton. So now I have a basic rig set up, but I'm going to take it a little bit further. I want to have it so that I have two different amps and two, like a different amp cab head, and I want to be able to control each of them separately. So the way that I do that is I'm going to switch it from being this linear setup going from start to finish, and I'm going to press this one and just do a split in the middle. So there's this little right beside tail. I can change the setup here. So now I have the one amp combo set up on one section, and up here, I'm going to put another combination. So let's go amp again, and for here, let's do, man, there's so many options. Let's do the 92 tread modder. So now this is the signal combined. <laughs> There's a couple of different ways that I can treat this. I could go up here and go to my hardware assign, and on pedal section B, I can add the mix and maybe uh, a level when I'm on B, it'll bring down the level of my A amp. So I can have this tone. Or I can bring 
back that one amp. So there's the clean Princeton. my foot switch and just get that extra gain when I'm up at the top. Now I could also do a direct stop. I want to stop one cab from playing and just do a switch from one to the other. So I'm going to go back to my hardware assign up here on the top left, or sorry, top right, so hardware assign. And I'm going to get rid of this A level because I don't want that there. Um, now I'm going to select this amp, the first amp I opened. And I'm going to switch it to being a scene. I'm now going to go on to amp 2 and change that to a scene as well. And now I'm going to change the positioning of where those go. So it's going to go up top here and up top there. So now inside of those scenes, I'm going to do some editing. So I'm going to push edit. And now I can say for scene 1, I'm going to have that turn on amp 1 and cab 1, and I'm going to have it turn off amp 2 and cab 2. So double tap will do that. Now on scene 2, I'm going to go edit here, and I'm going to have that turn on amp 2 and cab 2, and turn off amp 1 and cab 1. So now that I've created those two scenes, I can just tap either on scene 2 and get this amp, or tap on scene 1 and get this amp.